You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past, maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I'm Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. What's up guys? Today is going to be an interesting day because I'm headed up to a place that many of you may not actually know about. Before Skinwalker Ranch, there was another location that was researched heavily for exactly the same reasons. And it's actually closer to where I live. It's only about two hours away. And so right now what I'm doing is I'm actually deciding what gear I'm going to pack up to take up to this place because I've never been there before, but there's been reports of everything from paranormal encounters, UFO sightings, uh, mysterious research being done on the property. And it was done uh, by the same people that researched Skinwalker Ranch right before they bought the property at Skinwalker Ranch. There you have it. I was able to get everything, all of my gear compartmentalized and packed away into that one backpack, except for the big metal detector and you know, my filming tripod and stuff, but ready to hit the road. I get asked a lot like what equipment I use and, and recommendations and all that. So make sure and subscribe and turn on notifications because I'm going to be using it all in the next 48 hours over this whole series. And I'll show you exactly how I use it and what I use it for. I got to be honest with you. I have no idea what to expect. So I got to go in there open minded. Anything from the paranormal, you know, there could be shadow figures, ghosts. There could be interaction with this shaman character. What if I have nightmares up there or something like that? Uh, I don't know. What if we find more petroglyphs or interesting stuff? There's a lot to do. So we just got to load up and get up there and see what we find. Before Skinwalker Ranch, there was this location that was owned by Bob Bigelow and heavily researched. And the rumor is that a lot of the stories that supposedly come from Skinwalker Ranch, some of them may come from this location instead of up there in Utah. This place is actually in Nevada, a lot closer to where I live in Southern Utah. And the stories are just as interesting as the ones up in the Uinta Basin. So I'm excited to go find out and stay there overnight, see for myself. I don't know why I'm not surprised, but we're actually driving pretty close to Area 51. I don't know about you, but I was unaware that Bigelow actually owned property and did research in a place before Skinwalker Ranch. I didn't even know that this place existed until the family contacted me and said there's more to the story than people know and invited me to come and check it out. So I'm getting really close now to pulling up on the property. We're gonna see it for the first time now. <laughs> now that I pulled the camera out, everybody's getting camera shy. <laughs> We're actually up here, this is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hello there. And he is owner and manager here of Mountain Wilson Ranch. And this place you're saying was actually bought at the same time as Skinwalker Ranch, is that right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna learn all about that. We're gonna start walking around and taking a whole tour. You're gonna get the whole backstory and the full truth right now. I had no idea that this place even existed, but check it out. It's like an actual old saloon, a hotel. A motel clear up on the mountains and if you don't know this place right here should look familiar to you I'm going to show you a photo in a minute that actually proves that this location is legitimately associated with Skinwalker Ranch and all the research down there okay this is cool so everybody's gonna be just super fascinated so I'm literally just gonna film all of this as we go but this is awesome. This is like a hotel, or what was the original purpose of this place? Uh, this guy had a dream to get people out to the woods, bring them out, show them some history, kind of like uh, cabins in the woods, but hotel style. Right, that's crazy. So how did, in the world, did like uh, Bigelow end up out here? Cause like, like there's aliens already. Apparently during the MX missile program, there were a lot of 
researchers out here. And those researchers were government researchers. And hey guys. Bigelow wound up knowing those guys down the future. Is this a restaurant or what is this place? <laughs> are you kidding me? What? <laughs> These guys are here waiting for their meal. You guys have they're, ordered they're some food for, already? They're waiting for their pork roll. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I hear that this place is full of all kinds of weird stories, paranormal stories, UFO sightings. So I'm here with like locals and the owners and I just want to ask on the fly what you guys think of that. Does that seem legitimate? There's a lot, there's a lot of unidentified things happening in the sky around here. Yeah. Like that. Is it really? Oh, yeah. Have you seen some stuff too? Yeah. Everybody has? I've heard stories and rumors of people, sightings of like a, of a shaman. Is that true? So this guy tell you, he used to work at the test site. You did? Yeah. You worked at the test site? Yeah. Okay, so we might have to pick some brains and do some interviews up here to find out the, the full lot, story. But... You can't say a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> we'll see. So our kitchen? The kitchen up here. When was this place actually built, do you know? It's an original homestead, so 1840s, 1850s really? was when it really started getting going. But then uh, in the 60s, they got this building going. It's actually like a ghost town map. You'd be amazed at how many. There's over 350 ghost towns in Nevada. That doesn't surprise me. Any ghost stories in this place since it's built back oh, then? Oh yeah, every every room has a story for sure. Really? Oh yes. Oh gosh. You know, okay. We've heard them from families every different family that's come through and yeah. So I'm going to be staying in a particular motel room here and you're saying that this motel room I'm going to be staying in has a lot of stories with it too or? It would be called our most famous room. Um, we don't privy people up to what that room is about for the most part. So we get a lot of strange stories in the morning. So you just want to wait and see what happens with me? Yeah, because. Okay. Myself and Knickknack, we aren't privy to that. Okay. We don't get exposed. It to doesn't that. happen we've, to you. We've heard from people that were blockheads. Well, I'm a blockhead. <laughs> okay. And apparently, I don't allow this to go through. But gotcha. Some people that just naturally have it, they tell us some cool stories in the morning. So this mirror over here. Yeah. I actually hear that a lot. There's mirrors in particular. Look. Oh, there's. Two, so it's like an infinity mirror thing going. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna be staying in a in a in a room and they're not telling me or warning me what's gonna happen, but they think I'm sensitive and so stuff's gonna happen. We'll find out. I brought my paranormal investigating equipment and we'll find out. And maybe if I can even spend some time tonight over here. Absolutely. Check out the mirrors. Uh it could be an interesting night. I, I didn't realize I was signing up for this tonight, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This place is really cool, but it does give off haunted vibes. <laughs> it really does, right? <laughs> like, it is so cool. But wow, this is awesome, man. This is so cool. Look at this place. I mean, if there was ever a place where I could see that uh, was owned at the same time as Skinwalker Ranch and had just as many stories, if not more, like, what the heck, dude? Look at this place. <laughs> this was built when? Like 1800s, you said? Or? No, no. no? This, so this back bar was built in like 1840, 1850. Wow. In Europe. Really? And this is the fourth stop for the saloon. Holy smokes. Last place it was located was Redding, California. And when it left Redding, uh, the gentleman that brought it from Redding to Nevada built all of this to house that. Wow. This is amazing. All hand built. And that's authentic with the cobwebs. It looks good. Oh, this place is wild. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't get any negative vibes here. It just feels like old 
and uh, mysterious. <laughs> you know, every haunted saloon has to have an old creaky piano, right? <laughs> Fitting. <laughs> we'll mess around with that. Jeff, you said that there were there's some uh, experiences that have been had right here in the saloon. Oh, one of our most famous, myself and Nick Neck, were behind a bar here, and we had two gentlemen sitting here. And one gentleman takes a look into the mirror, and he says he sees a couple up there staring down at him. Really? So he's like sitting right here like I am, and then he sees... Up into that mirror, and then people sitting right up in those that table right there. Really? And he about blew through that door as fast as you can go out. What is it those? Really? So oh, he yeah. saw people sitting up there even though there was no one there. Yeah, so that's the whole thing is the idea that these interesting places and why Bigelow and the government is so interested is that they have dimensional time warps or portals that open to places in the past or the future or other dimensions. So that's yeah. the whole... Ooh. That's the whole question. That sounds like uh, right on the head. <laughs> right on the head, right? Yep. Well, maybe we'll have to come and sit here tonight, too, and see what we see, ask some questions. We'll have a drink. We'll have a drink. So we'll sit here tonight and see if we see anybody up there. You said there's another sighting in the corner up there? That corner over there is a strange little access to a room back there. Up at the top of the stairs? Yeah. Oh. Dogs, pets. They see little kids, dogs, and stuff? Stare. Stare up into that corner. Like they think they see something? Yeah. Really? Wait, up here? Oh yeah, where that's walled off. There you go. Uh, yeah, okay. This bathroom here? Yes. And Cowboy there's some bathroom. Uh, she said just something, something bad. Something not, yeah. Something very bad. She just sensed some kind of a bad energy? Yeah. Like, had she eaten something earlier and then tried, went in the wrong restroom? Or <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> into the into this cowboy bathroom, huh? Oh, it does have a weird vibe to it. I was joking around and I stepped in here and it was really funny. Intuition got a really funny feeling too. Well, I was joking around and my intuition got a weird feeling when I went in there too, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of unknowns. Yeah. There's a lot of unknowns. We'll poke around at them and see what we find. Okay, so before Bigelow, there was a previous property owner? The Alfanos. The Alfanos, okay. And tell me about them. They were, were they Native American family? Um, or? Unsure if they had Native in their family ancestry. She made these though? But she, yeah, and that would put her that she was native because those are made by native people. So partial. So she, oh, she, she wasn't full blood Native American. Okay. But she made those Kachina dolls and she actually like lived here then. She lived on the ranch up until probably 87. And then she moved onto her own property up here on the Mount Wilson. She passed away about three years ago, but she had major history of this place. You know, from alien interactions. Um, the shaman? The shaman, yeah. Really? Oh yeah, she had a lot of, I mean, I, I wish she was along around to tell that story. Wow. But she had interactions, and they were all Native American themed as well. Then Native, no, there was actually uh, oh, she you had said interactions with aliens. Aliens, uh, okay. She yeah. called it the patriarch. Really, and the two that were alongside of the patriarch that she actually encountered. So there was uh, a larger figure, and then two smaller ones that came with the shaman. Yes, no, with the in, with the aliens or with the aliens. Yeah, we're talking the aliens now. So it was a patriarch alien and two little ones with it, as she explained. Did she describe what they look like or anything? I'm just curious uh, if it fits we... the petroglyphs I've seen. Ah, uh, gray. They were of gray in color. Really? Maybe blue, but gray. You, and, and, and the only reason I know that is because I saw her paperwork when she was going to get interviewed for um, the Ghost Adventure show. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and she and, told and, the and story. And, in and, I, and I, oh, yeah. we got to see all of her paperwork, but we never got to keep it. Really? And then she died. 
She got sick right before that show. Couldn't talk about it on that show. And, and all that paperwork is with the show now? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. But she, do you know where she saw the shaman or where that happened? Oh, the shaman, Every almost every time that there was shaman encounters was in the end hotel room in the main Oh, room. that's where you're making me sleep tonight. <laughs> you, you, I see what's going on here. Okay, okay. You were gonna test it. <laughs> that's right, okay. <laughs> that's good, that's perfect. That's I'm perfect. shaman bait. That's what these guys are doing to me. They invited me up here to feed me to the shaman ghost. <laughs> no, you have a connection I'm just now. No, this is cool. This is really cool. The actual, the story, the oral tradition of the place and everything, and where I'm going to be staying tonight, it's all very interesting. Especially that this place was actually purchased and researched right alongside Skinwalker Ranch, and nobody knows about it. This whole place is just full of old, cool stuff. Wow. Another old piano. <laughs> Donated from the local Freemason Lodge here in Pioch. Every, every time I stop recording, he's like, oh yeah, this, this is a Freemason piano. <laughs> okay. So I just should just have a camera crew follow around and film everything so I don't miss it. But yeah, we're gonna have to spend some time in this building for sure. Forbidden Science. So this is... Jacques Vallée's book. All right. And so he actually talks about the ranch in this book. Oh, okay. Is this the one that has the photo in here? This is. So not many photos in this book. And the photo is of that right there where we're standing. Okay, so it says on our field survey at at Bigelow's Mountain Wilson Ranch, Nevada, with Hal Putoff and Dr. Tim Ryan from August 1996. There they are, right there. There's the building. Right there. Dude, nobody knows about this place. What the heck? What the heck? That was on purpose. It's on purpose. There's a time and a place for everything. And now's the time. Now's the time. They were all sitting at the kitchen table. Everything lifted up off the table, rose up to a point where everybody basically ran out of there as it all fell all over the table. Just like poltergeist lifted up and dropped? Yeah. And she's over there telling me, why didn't you tell me? What? And she's about this Indian that didn't just stay in that room. Apparently he was in this room too. So he went from this one to, and visited that one too? Uh, yeah. So who knows? Missile. Some people were calling it Star Wars, and what it was, they were going to have these missiles all around the, the West in particular that were either underground or on railroad tracks so they could be moved all around so the Russians couldn't send the spy planes up and see where they were at. Um, and so he was, he was real big into that. So when he uh, became president, he pushed forward with it. And uh, they were talking about having some um, a MX missile site up there in um, Lincoln County and um, up, up at Mount Wilson. So before they could do any of that, they sent out um, some uh, archaeologists to make sure that they, if they were going to put that in there, that it wouldn't be a, you know, in, in a, a sensitive area for archaeological for Indians or, you know, uh, 